this is Charlotte, and it's obviously a night race because we are waiting on the loading screen. Uh, so, who's initially the winner uh, of the 1959 Daytona 500? Johnny Bayou Champ. Only three drivers have one on their birthday. Kyle Busch, Matt Kenseth, and it's the Kale Yarborough? It is. And, in what year did Richard Petty win his first championship? 1964, I believe. So here's the driver that has never won a championship. Number 42, Kyle Larson. Target is the only one one race ever as a sponsor in NASCAR. Obviously they wish that their luck was like in this video game. But since they sponsor Chip Ganassi, they're like, hey, we'll sponsor your NASCAR car. We got enough money. We have multiple stores across the country. We got kids that like Target. Like me, I, I like Target for some reason. It's just one of my favorite stores. Cartwheel. I like to say Cartwheel, they're money saving app like that. There you go, number 42. Uh, second, Railroad Crossing, David Reagan, fourth. Third is Kevin Harvick, number four, Jimmy Johns. And we got Jeff Gordon, Drive Down to Hunger, number 24. Those are the cars, so we got three of the four cars in the top here are the same as the uh, last one. Last race at Kansas. Uh, on the difference, David Reagan's here. Uh, so there's David Reagan. What is the sponsor? C. Oh, he's got that sponsor. He's got those train companies that are building you a better future. Or something. Either way, it says play it safe around railroad tracks. Obviously, that's good tips, uh, because you want to play it safe around railroad tracks. You don't want to jump in the middle of railroad tracks as the train's coming by. Unless you really hate your life, but still. If you really hate your life, go see a doctor. Um, so, um, and I'm not going to inspire you. I mean, I can, if you want me to. Just say, please make an inspirational video, and I can't do that. Or you can just watch my video about... How I think that YouTube videos are very important to people. That's also another option. I mean, just just suggesting the potential options you hear if you won't, don't want to play it safe around railroad tracks. Okay, so I'm back into the gas. Quickly. I'm trying out my technique that I use at other tracks. So I got to block Rookie of the Year contender. Austin Dillon and that number three Dow Chemicals Chevrolet. I'm here in the number 42 Target Chevrolet. Twenty-nine forty-five is my record best here. Uh, I set that during qualifying as the pole winning time. If anyone is interested in what the pole winning time was, it was twenty-nine forty-five. I set it here. Uh, just a few minutes ago. That looked like it could have been a faster lap, but then I got... I made some contact with the wall. Remember, a key thing about this chase is winning matters. Okay? You win your way to the next round. So, in the third races, if you win one of the three and you're in the chase, you make it to the next round. So, I forgot who won the last race, but either way, they're in the next round of the chase. Okay? You don't want to be from 9 to 12, and I'm sitting in 12 right now in points. Uh, because of my terrible race at Kansas. Um, I didn't want to be in Kansas anymore. And I'm glad that a tornado called the Target Hauler and the A button sent me away to a magical land called Charlotte. And I went down the um, yellow wall. You don't get the references. Google it. Pretty sure you do, though. Okay. So here we go. With one lap to go. I have a 1.25 second lead over the approaching Tony Stewart, who is winless in the chase. And would really like to add to his points total. Going into this. And Brad Kielowski, who's not in the chase, is 
there, and Ambrose is there too. Vickers now hops into the top. It's so weird Charlotte is to me. Okay, I have... If I can win this, we'll have won here three times, okay? And I go on for my third win at Charlotte, okay? After three wins at Charlotte, two at the Coca-Cola 600, one at this race, how do I not win the All-Star race? The last two seasons that I've been doing this, I won the thing, okay, I won the regular race, I won the Coca-Cola 600, and lose the All-Star race right before it. So after I lose the All-Star race, I win the Coca-Cola 600. Maybe I would do, I would have the same bad luck here if I had to do the restarts. Thankfully, there was no cautions, and the Bank of America, who sucks, Bank of America 500. is mine for the taking. And with this win, I do not have to win Talladega, but uh, I'm going to show up anyways. So here is a couple of good and bads of the way this chase has gone for me. Both times in this chase, I have had terrible finishes in the first race, and then I won the second race. The only issue about that is the final round only has one race. But it's on a better track, so hopefully I can win there. And, uh, yeah, this year has been definitely fun to do. I have had fun making this season, and, uh, seeing people's enthusiasm about the live video, that was pretty cool. I mean, it did, it did mean something to me that I actually had... Uh, on Google Plus, they asked the question, are you going to watch the live video? And the people actually said, yes, they're going to watch the live video. That, that means something to me. That somebody actually was considering watching my live video. You know? And to see that it goes on to have like 11 views in, in, the, in a day, from obviously when this is done, that, that's big for me. I mean, yeah, obviously, it's 11 views and somebody, oh, that's stupid. But when you're not that popular of a channel, 11 views on one video means a lot. Or like I had one of these videos and within an hour of being uploaded, somebody watched it. I don't know, for some channels, in an hour they get like a thousand, two thousand views on a video. hundred thousand, I don't know, something like that. But they get so many views on one thing. For me, ten views on a video is amazing. So that's why I want to go into the analytics of my channel and I see that there's videos that have more than just like two videos than from what it used to be that have like that many views like 500 the top 10 all of 500 views that's big I know that the top one has 1,400 that's big for me even though I think all the videos that I make that go to the top are crap, but... You know, it's funny. All of my most viewed videos, one is a preview of two remote control cars sitting on the ground, essentially. Me saying, this video is coming soon. And... Um... Another video that I made. Of, um... Two it was battling, and it was like a 45-second video. Uh, but that was Charlotte for you. Don't surprise these curveballs and everything at you when you least expect it. There you go. So climbing out of the car. Hard fought battle here. With the number 42 target team. And celebrating that championship is a big deal. Or a potential championship, obviously. As of now, I'll go to the next round. Um, that should be fun. Buddy Baker. Because <laughs> they were going 200 way before. Jimmy Johnson was the NASCAR.
Danica. And who is the least successful? Patty Moist, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Ah, uh, Kyle Bush got that win last time. Okay, so, the drivers that are not safe now. Casey Kane, Jerry Lagana, Jimmy Johnson, and Matt Kenseth. Kenseth is not safe. Tyler Bush, Marcus Ambrose, Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Clint Boyer, myself as Kyle Larson, and Kurt Busch. All just need to have a good performance at Talladega, and we get into the next round. Obviously, for me and Kurt Busch, the good performance is required the most. Obviously, being on the bubble. But I also believe that if you win, you get to the next round. So, for me and Kyle Busch, we should be good. But I still want to get a good performance, obviously. Okay, I got 19 pulls. I need one more to get 20. It's going to come to Talladega. Okay. 